Good morning dear students welcome to maths medical youtube channel students in this video we will know about a branch of mathematics which deals with the measurement of sides and angles of a triangle and this branch is known as trigonometry so trigonometry is made up of two greek words trigonon and matron the word trigonon means triangle and matrons means measurement so what do we measure in trigonometry we measure sides and angles of a triangle students you have to keep in mind that the triangle on which we apply trigonometry must be a right angle triangle suppose that the given triangle on in the question is not a right angle triangle then with the help of construction Firstly, you have to make it a right angle triangle. Only then you will be able to apply trigonometry on it. So, students, Hipparchus was a mathematician or an astronomer who invented trigonometry to measure the distance between celestial objects. Examples like distance between uh, planets and position of stars. But later, trigonometry is also used in physics, engineering, construction, architecture, oceanography, cartography. In oceans, we also use trigonometry to measure the depth of the sea. In map, we also use trigonometry to locate each uh, location. And in physics and in engineering, trigonometry is used everywhere in its uh, concept, in its derivations, everywhere it has been used. Or in construction, uh, engineers also use trigonometry to uh, draw the uh, buildings or uh, the things which uh, they want to make. Students, uh, before moving to the next part, which is uh, related to angle of elevation or angle of depression, Firstly, we will study about a term which is called line of sight. Students, line of sight is a line which joins the eye of the observer to the point where he looks at. So, you can uh, see here, please note that you will have to, uh, sorry, line of sight, it is a line which joins your eye to the object which you look at. So, uh, you have to also keep in mind that to make a right angle triangle you have to draw a horizontal line from the eye of the observer so that you can make a right angle triangle suppose you are standing here this uh, this is your eye and there is two object one object is at upper level from you and the second one is at lower level from you if you look at the object which is at upper level from you then the line which joins your eye to that object will be known as line of sight similarly if you look at the object which is at lower level from you so the line which joins your eye to that object will be known as line of sight students you have made this horizontal line uh, uh, like you have studied here you have to make a horizontal line to make a right angle triangle so that's why you have drawn this horizontal line from the eye of the observer to make a right angle triangle so this is our horizontal line and the uh, we have to draw a perpendicular line uh, from the object to that horizontal line so that you can make a right angle triangle students you can see here this is a horizontal line and this line of sight is at elevation from this horizontal line because this line of sight is at horizontal uh, elevation from this horizontal line so the angle between this horizontal line and this line of sight which is at elevation with this horizontal line will be known as angle of elevation similarly this line of sight is at depression from this horizontal line. So, angle between this horizontal line and this line of sight which is at depression with this horizontal line will be known as angle of depression. Students, theta and alpha are symbols which is used here for unknown angles. So, students, P, uh, PQ is a line of sight 
which is at elevation with this horizontal line that's why angle with angle between this horizontal and this line of sight which is at elevation is known as angle of elevation and this is a horizontal line this is line of sight which is at depression with this horizontal line so the angle between this horizontal and with this line of sight which is a depression with this horizontal line will be known as angle of depression this is what i have written here you can make notes uh, you can write notes from here and uh, suppose i have taken this triangle and put over here so the, this is theta this is taken angle this is the angle from the eye of the observer so the side which will be opposite to this angle this unknown angle will be known as perpendicular line perpendicular side and we represent perpendicular with the help of capital P and the side which will be opposite to the right angle will be known as hypotenuse and we represent hypotenuse with the help of capital H and the side which is between right angle and the taken angle or, or uh, the angle of elevation will be known as base and we represent base with the help of capital B if I look upward then the angle between horizontal line and line of sight will be known as angle of elevation and if i look downward then the angle between horizontal line from the eye of the observer to uh, the line of sight will be known as angle of depression because this line of sight is at depression with this horizontal line that's why angle between horizontal line and the line of sight which is at depression will be known as angle of depression Students, in next video, we will study about trigonometric ratios, uh, square of T ratios, reciprocal relation, square uh, relation, complementary relation and uh, various values of angles in trigonometric ratios.